Let's keep this nice and short, just a quick intro for you guys. Welcome to the next episode of the Fundamentals Days. This is a different formula for those of you watching and coming back. I kind of recorded each part separately, so the voice separately and the actual drawing part separately. I want you guys to do the same as you were before. The references will be in the description below. You'll be able to use the same reference that I used behind me. It's actually right there, but I'm not gonna show you that. I want you to see the process first before you see the actual picture. Grab yourself some materials, which in this one, we'll be using some charcoal pencils, just paper, and that's it. We're using charcoal, also charcoal stick. Let's get started with the drawing. For this, I'm using normal paper, charcoal in a pencil form and we're just going through the process as we would usually we're starting with the circle you know just as you would with any pencil and <laughs> any sort of loomis head method thing uh, and we're just going through it ad adding in all the construction lines that i'm going to need for the drawing uh, i like to hold the pencil a little bit differently as you just saw uh, the grip of it is something I've been playing with recently. This is something I've seen a lot on the Proco channel. They've been showing this different way of holding the pencil. It's almost like holding a paintbrush or something. It's very loose, but I've seen that it allows me to get a lot of motion out of the pencil. Something that I wouldn't always get when I'm holding it traditionally. The reason why is probably because you're just in like this precision mode when you do that, you know? It kind of makes sense. It kind of doesn't make sense, but you're <laughs> it's almost like a sniper scope on any tool that you're using. So I like to think of this method as something a little bit different and something that's still going to give me precision, but it's going to allow me to make those broad, more flavorful <laughs> strikes. I don't know what, I, what to call it. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just going through the process, putting in the facial features. I'm trying to adjust as I go because there was a lot of mistakes that I made during the process of this one. Um, the biggest mistake I made from the beginning was actually having the reference on the left of me. So I had my computer on the left and I would constantly be turning away from what I was drawing and constantly looking at the reference and then going back and drawing and sort of like looking at the reference, remembering it and then drawing, looking reference, remembering, drawing. I found that that's making things a little hard for me recently. Um, I think what I need to do is focus on having it directly in front of me and respecting the reference that I have just to ensure that what I'm actually putting on the paper is what I'm actually seeing. It's um, actually, I'm going to say actually, <laughs> it's something I saw um, Alberto Miogo, I can't pronounce his name, please don't laugh at me, but uh, yeah, the guy who worked on the awesome uh, Love Death Robots animations and general very talented artist, he was talking about respecting the reference, so when you're painting you should be like 70% looking at your reference and the rest, the 30% looking at your actual piece of paper and what you're drawing. So you should actually spend more time looking at the reference. This works in many different ways because I think a good way of like remembering how to draw things is if you watch someone with a lot of precision <laughs> and you just like nail down your vision and try and remember as much as you can and then recreate it. I think that's also a good way of learning and that's definitely something you I recommend you do in public if you, you're drawing people you don't want to be like a creep or anything but take a good look at someone and then try and recreate them on your paper because they're probably going to run away but as you can see we're going through the process uh, I'm now just starting to fill in a couple of the shadows and just getting a little bit more form going this process was uh, quite tedious for me because uh, I've never really used charcoal that much, but I definitely enjoyed it. I know I'm definitely going to use it more. It's a traditional medium that I want to explore because I'm trying to go back to the traditional roots with a lot of the things I'm doing. Uh, it's just, I think if we master that, we're going to be pretty damn good artists. So that's kind of my main reasoning for it and the reason why I am going for tradition. Going along with the process, I'm just adding a couple more of the construction lines, ensuring that I get them all in the right spot and just 
trying to get the shape of the head as good as I can onto the canvas. And I want to talk about the way I'm recording this video as well. Um, very much enjoying this <laughs> right now. I'm kind of just talking off the top of my head and watching back what I've edited previously. So I have like all this footage to talk over and I have this freedom to speak to you with full concentration. And then I also have the freedom to fully concentrate on what I'm drawing in that picture. I'm saying drawing. I need to learn how to say drawing properly. But yeah, I'm, ha I'm having this freedom of doing this and this and trying to do it to the best of my ability. And I think I'm going to kind of focus on doing it this way from now on. Because, uh, like I said, it just allows me to think a little bit more about what I'm saying rather than think about five things at once. This stage, this stage was a lot of fun. I actually grabbed a charcoal stick now rather than an, a full pencil. Like it, it's a lot less compressed, so the charcoal's not as dark, not as deep, and it's a lot softer. So it's quite good for fast shapes and very good for blocking in like a nice little shadow. What we will see me here is I'm actually trying to create the shape of the hair, but it's not it's not doing what I wanted it fully. I'm still trying to get that like under layer of the texture that hair creates in there, but I'm actually deciding that, hey, I'm going to block this in. And then later on is when I'll go in and I'll add all the details that I need to the hair. And as you can see, I dropped my stick there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just filling in the block. And as you can see, there's kind of that undertone of the lines going in that direction that I need them to. But that's not the focus here. As you can see, I'm taking my finger straight away and just smudging it as much as I can. And then we return back to the pencil because I actually <laughs> I really enjoy using the pencil. I'll, you'll see in a minute on the video. Uh, I'll show you how I sharpen it. I didn't get the best angle of it, unfortunately, so I do apologize for that. But um, I'll show you how you can sharpen one of these things. It's actually quite good. As you can see here, I've got the reference right in front of me, and that's allowing me to almost copy exactly what I'm seeing and allowing me to get a lot more of the information correct. Because what I'm attempting to do recently is try and get a little bit more of that realism because I've never been one for realism. I've never loved it as much as I've loved creating just characters and everything. But it's, um, I think it's necessary. Like really, I think it's necessary to nail realism, nail what we see to be able to recreate something in a cartoon style to the ability that I want to create it to. So I definitely think it will be important to learn all this realism and that's why I'm doing it. Although you can see it's still like a sort of cartoonish thing, like the outlines are way too strong and everything, but it's uh, it's generally something I am getting a little bit better at, but I'm going to be focusing on it and practicing. As you can see, I'm trying to get a little bit more softer with the shading and stuff. Uh, the pencil lets you do that, but I think the charcoal stick is going to be a lot better for it. And then I went in with a needlewool eraser and just tried to get a little bit more of that white in. There you can see <laughs> at the bottom of the screen, I've got a little knife and I'm cutting away the wood to a nice point where I've got a lot of the charcoal exposed. And then I throw it on a sanding paper. As you can see, the downside of that is you get completely coated fingers. But what you do is you get the sandpaper and you kind of brush it side to side or you kind of do it in a forward motion and you get a nice spike on the end of that. You get a very pointy edge and a very sharp edge and then you can just come in and do what I'm doing here. Adding all the details necessary to complete this picture as much as possible. I wouldn't say it was fully finished by the end but it was to a point where I thought this is good and I think I've learned as much as I can from this. No liquid vital, but if I had one, I would probably made the, is it the cranium? No, the, cr the back of the head a little bit further out. It did look like he had a bit of a squished skull at the back. But overall, I was very happy with the way this turned out. And I was very happy with um, the process that I kind of went through in this. Like I said, I just, I really enjoyed doing this video the way I'm doing it right now. It took a little bit longer to do but it had a little bit more thought in it. And I think that's that's a good trade-off. I think I've got a 
good balance here of just thinking about the right things to say. I've got a nice oppor <laughs> I've got a nice opportunity to talk about something that I, I need to talk about in this without having to think about what I'm drawing at the same time. So I'm going to let the rest of this video play out and I'm going to thank you very much for being here and supporting the channel and checking out these videos. I hope you followed along with this guide. I know it was a little bit faster than usual, but yeah, I hope you had a good, enjoyed it and I hope you have a really awesome day and happy drawing.